Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Nick Series here, and today we'll be making a weapon tier list for Kofi. So make sure that you leave a like and subscribe, and just help support the channel. Alright, so without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, and I forgot to say, this is my opinion, okay? So if you have, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section. If you agree, let me know in the comment There's section. No Alright. First off we have the Lost Prayer. This is a 5 star book with a max attack of 608 and a second stat of 33.1% crit rate. See the main issue with this weapon is just the second stat will be useless to you and the only thing the weapon has going for it is its base damage. The passive is also going to be useless for you too so I'm going to store it in the probably viable I wouldn't recommend. I mean it is 5 stars so maybe viable. For now, if we have Everlasting Moon Glow, this weapon immediately goes to S tier because it's Kokomi's signature weapon. Now, according to leaks, at level 90, this weapon will boast a 609 attack and give you a 49.6% HP bonus, which is a bit more than the Eye of Amber, I'm pretty sure. And on top of this, no prototype amber, <laughs> and on top of this the passive will give you healing bonuses, attack bonuses, energy recharge bonuses which is just so nutty with how much bonuses this weapon gives you so it's immediately the best weapon for Kokomi. So if you're a whale, definitely get this weapon. Skyward Atlas, so with this weapon it has the highest base attack of all catalysts being 674 at max level and a second stat of 33.1% attack bonus. On top of the huge hydro damage bonus Kokomi gets by ascension, the passive gives you a further elemental boost and your normal charge attacks have a 50% chance to get the favour of the clouds which will do some damage as well. So in general this weapon is amazing so I'm also going to have to slap it in S tier. Next off we have memory of the dust which has 608 attack and an attack percent bonus of 49%. This weapon is mainly going to be good with shields, so if you have someone like Zhong Li on your team, you're already going to see results from this weapon, so I'm going to have to move it to A tier. But remember, it does require a shielding character to make the most use out of this weapon. Next off, we have our 4 star weapons. So we have Mapamore with a base stat of 565 and EM 110 and the passive trigger and elementary reactions which could be useful when pairing it with a character such as Baal for instance so with that I'm going to place it in the B tier and then after that we have Blackcliff Agate which is all about critting it does have a nice stat and a nice crit damage bonus but come on man no way are you going to be using that weapon that's like a violation that's very muggy. That's like a statement saying, you're a prick. I'm not going to let someone take me for a prick. No way. Next off, we have Royal Grimoire, which has 570, 570, 565 attack and a 27.6% attack bonus. But it's also about critting, so no way. Again, <laughs> lots of these books, they don't work with Kokomi. We also have Sacrificial Fragments. Love the name of that book. It has an attack of 504 and EM as its substat. The thing that brings this weapon up is after doing damage with a skill you have a chance to end the skill's cooldown which I think could be pretty good with Kokomi and a jellyfish so I'm gonna have to move that right up to A. So next off we have Solar Pole which has a 27.6% grit rate oh god which is this weapon is actually in general it's a good weapon but for Kokomi no way <laughs> next we have the Witsif alright this weapon I'm gonna say it does have very good like passives in general the passes on the Witsif is insane and it has attack of 510 and its second stat is about critting but actually like I actually really like this weapon all in general I have it at R5 on the moment also I'm gonna have to put it in a wouldn't recommend, not not as useless as these, but still really. Next we have the Haku Shim Ring. <laughs> I can't say this. The weapon right it has a substat for boosting your ER by 30.7% and a main attack of 565, which is pretty high. And that's useful because Kokomi's burst is 70, and if you're running her 
with Baal on your team is going to be useful because as a passive you get a bonus damage for elemental reactions so I'm going to have to put this weapon in viable and then next we have Bellico Tails. This weapon has 445 attack and a 55.1% attack bonus and the passive more focus on circling through normal and charge attacks which could be useful during Kokomi's Nerys Ascension which is her ult so I'm gonna have to put it in the viable tier and finally we have Favonius Codex. This weapon has 510 attack and 45.9% ER, which are both quite useful stats, but sadly, the passive isn't useful for Kokomi, so overall, this weapon is gonna go in. Wouldn't recommend. Now we're on to our last 4 star weapons, so we've got Wine and Song here. This weapon has more attack than Fav Codex, I like calling all those weapons Fav. <laughs> I don't know why, so much sure. And it's got 565 attack and less ER of only 30.6%. The passive is also more useful, but it's just based on sprinting. So I'm gonna put it, I wouldn't recommend or viable. I say, uh, but these weapons all give you a bonus. So I'm gonna put it in wouldn't recommend also. And then beneath that we have Frost Brera. This weapon would be quite good for freezing all the people you're attacking as Kokomi could probably make some crit build with it, you know, you're gonna have that 4 please Blizzard Strayer artifacts that all ran into crit rate and I believe with this you could actually crit because this does apply cryo so if I get good enough artifacts I'll actually try it out and make a video on it I find this weapon quite interesting even if you're not critting though you will be able to freeze your opponent so I'm gonna put it in A tier because I really like how the weapon just works in general and then next off we have Prototype Amber. Very easy to obtain because everyone can craft it, get to R5 if you want to. It's probably her best 4 star weapon if I'm honest. Because it gives you 510 attack and 41.3%. It's actually what I'm going to use for my Kokomi because I don't think I'm going to be pulling for that. <laughs> Just because I pulled for Miles weapon, I'm not going to go for the next weapon. But, yep. It's gonna go all the way up to A, maybe even S because this, the healing bonus between that is a bit smaller and I would say it's better than Memory of the Dust so we're gonna put it at just about in the edge of S tier. Next off we have the Eye of Perception. So the Eye of Perception has 454 attack and a bonus of 55.1% which is high and it can fire off its own lightning bolts and I find that pretty cool it can get out a lot of damage it's kind of more like a weaker skyward atlas so I'm gonna put it in I still think it deserves A tier actually because skyward atlas itself is just an insane book next off with, with the three star weapons we have magic guide but there are weapons on this list that do the same thing so I'm just gonna have to put it into the no way category although it does give you bonus damage against people with hydro but nah ain't worth your time otherworldly story i wouldn't even consider this so if you have this weapon just just delete it man get, get rid of this weapon you use this to we level up some of the other weapons <laughs> you don't want this weapon twin death right gives you a second style crit not for kokomi Thrilling Tales of the Dragon, which you've got to love the 35.7% HP bonus and on top of that when you're switching you're going to buff your other teammates so I am going to move that up to A tier. And then next off we have Elemental Orb which has weapons that do the same thing and then Amber Catalyst, weapons that do the same thing. Hey guys, this is my tier list, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below, anything that I should move. Now if you're one of those that skipped to the end of the video and is going to start complaining about how I, how I organise things then watch back and hear my reasoning. Actually I might move Blackcliff to there, right, because it's in general it's a good weapon just not on Kokomi, but yeah, I hope you enjoy, have a good day and I'll see you in the next video.